Coverage you can count on continues with Glenn Marini's Sports Report. Regional championships have been few and far between for the South Adams football program. Entering the season, the Starfires had amassed exactly one. They doubled that total this past Friday, and it's why we're proud to honor them as the Orthopedic Hospital of Lutheran Health Network Team of the Week. Congratulations, Fort Wayne Orthopedics and the Orthopedic Hospital at Lutheran are pleased to sponsor your team as this week's Team of the Week. We have made the trip to Burn. We are at South Adams High School with the football team going to semi-state for just the second time in program history and for the first time since 1992. We are honoring the Starfires as our latest team of the week. We're here with head coach Rick Burkhalter and coach, first of all, congratulations. I don't think there's a lot of people outside of this gym that would have predicted you guys to be here after a three and six regular season, but here you are in the final four. What changed once the postseason began? Well, we're playing for one another now, playing for a cause. Um, at the beginning, I don't think we were. We were a bunch of individuals, and now we're a team. What's it taken to bring this group together, as you said, to become more of a team to play for one another? Just a family atmosphere. Just just keep talking about it and preaching it and believing it, and that's what they're doing. It was a thrilling win in that regional championship over a good Tri-Central team, 14-6 to the final. The defense really stepped up big in that game. What can you say about the performance from that group? Our defense has been playing outstanding football in this tournament, and that's due to the coaches with the game plan and these kids buying into it and doing what they're told and preparing to win. Each subsequent win, is that just making the defense hungrier and hungrier? I think so. A great performance from the defense, but of course the offense gets a little credit as well. A key play in that win over Tri-Central, an 82-yard touchdown pass that made it 14 to nothing early in the second half. Guys, let's set that play up. We're going to recreate it here for you real quick. This one put them in the driver's seat for good. Guys, whenever you're ready, let's break it down. Picture perfect, just like it happened in the game. Again, that made it a 14 to nothing game. The Starfires would go on to win it 14 to 6. Derek Wanner, the man that threw that pass, also had a key interception in that game as well. What was going through your mind when you saw that play break down and then the eventual outcome, a huge touchdown? Uh, I saw the cornerback run forward a little bit because he bit on the run. So I just saw Kyle take off the pass and I just threw it up. He caught it. He did the rest. Simple as that, right? Yep, exactly. Big game coming up now. Again, only the second time this program has ever played for a shot to appear in the state championship game. A very good pioneer team coming up. What's it going to take to advance to Lucas Oil Stadium? We just got to keep on playing like we have been. We've been playing our best ball tournament time, so we just got to keep that rolling. Simple as that. Best of luck to the Starfires. One win away from heading down to Lucas Oil Stadium to play for a state championship. The South Adams football team, they are your team of the week. And congratulations to South Adams, although that is bittersweet. It'll be the final story you'll see from Joe Whalen here on Wayne TV. He has taken a job to work at a station down in Birmingham, Alabama. We certainly wish him the best. That'll do it for sports. More coverage you can count on is coming up.